Hey guys, um, we're here to do a Rise review of Attack on Titan, Wings of Freedom. Uh, first, this game came out for both the Xbox One and the PS4. I played the Xbox One version, so I'm going to base my review off of that one. Second, this is my opinion on the game, it may be different than yours, so please be re respectful to me and to other people in the comments. Uh, without further ado, let's strap on some ODM gear and kill some Titans. Wow. That was an awful lead-in. Oh well. First, I want to get into the story. So, the story on of Attack on Titan follows the story exactly from the anime. Um, I personally love the story of Attack on Titan, so I'm completely okay with the idea. Plus, this is a great way to get people that haven't watched the anime an opportunity to catch up on the story and understand the plot. If you don't understand the story of Attack on Titan... Um, it goes a little bit like this. So for a long time, titans, or these massive human-like beasts, have been attacking humans. They eat them for fun. So people built a wall in the shape of a circle. It has layers. So there's three layers to the wall, and they live inside that circle, and they just have a pretty normal community with towns and fields and things like that. However, when this game starts, the titans attack for the first time in years and break through the wall with the help of a colossal titan which is somehow different in the idea of the fact that it's really huge um, and also can appear and disappear um, almost at will. The story takes place in the point of view of a boy, a boy at the beginning. Um, his name is Aaron. Um, he's greatly affected right off the rip with this because the one of the Titans eat his mother um, and it puts him on like a journey for vengeance for his mom and he says he's going to be the best Titan killer. He's also with his friends Mikasa and Armin, which have different personalities than him. He's very like high strung. Mikasa is very relaxed and uh, very alert of what she's doing. And Armin is, I guess he's, he's not really, he's, he's like more like frightened by things, but he's very smart and very tactical. Um, in this game, the dialogue is all in Japanese, which, which means that there's English subtitles. Some people could see this as a little bit annoying while playing, but I honestly didn't feel like it made the game bad. Um, I don't really mind the subtitles. Once the main story is completed, however, in this game, there is an option to go into an extra story. Um, it goes more in depth about a different type of Titan. I'm not exactly sure um, if this extra portion is something that happened in the mangas. I didn't read those, only watched the anime. But I really did enjoy it, and it adds probably an extra two to three hours to the game um which the game is probably roughly around eight hours already um but the story is very well written and it's very enjoyable especially if you haven't went through the anime before gameplay gameplay is in attack on titan feels a little bit like your spider-man but you have some amazing sword swinging ability the controls do really well with this gameplay um but at first, it is kind of, I found it a little weird to get used to. But once I did, oh man, I was slashing up some titans. The killing of titans is usually very fluent um, during the missions, and you can kind of jump from one titan to the next, um, which is cool because it doesn't it makes the missions not feel so repetitive um, and boring after doing like very similar stuff over and over again. Uh, I did have times though it, when there was when I was in like close quarters with a Titan that it would make me attack parts of the Titan that weren't affected or like I couldn't hurt them in that area. So it got frust frustrating when trying to get the best possible grade on a mission. After each mission in the story, you get a ranking, and based on this ranking is how you get extra items, um, money, and things like that, so you can buy and upgrade your equipment. The ranking is based on how many kills you can get, how quickly you finish the mission, and how accurate your attacks were. Which goes back to the previous point, that it gets frustrating when the game tries to make you fail. Most of the missions involve either killing all the titans on the map, killing certain titan titans, or escorting a person from one area to another. Sometimes when I found when escorting people, that the person you're escorting would just stand in place. Um, which was kind of annoying because you would get kind of far ahead and be killing titans and then have to go all the way back because they wouldn't move and would catch back up to you. Multiplayer. 
outside of the main storyline of Attack on Titan, there was a mode called Expedition, which would allow you to play up to four players um, and go on what they called surveying missions and kill some Titans together. The downside of this is that there's the only this is the only way that you can play with your friends. But with an anime with so many characters, it's sad that we couldn't play the story with all of our friends. The surveying missions are still graded, and you can receive some rare items from these missions. I also found that the difficulty was way higher in Expedition than in the main story, so the game actually got challenging at points, which was needed in a pretty easy game otherwise. This mode allowed you to play as some of the other characters that weren't a huge role in the main story, which is really cool because I like a lot of the characters that aren't a main role in the main Attack on Titan storyline. In this mode, there's 10 playable characters, all with different strengths and weaknesses. They can be leveled up to level 7, um, so it kind of gives you that little bit of an RPG element in the game. Graphics. I love the look of this game more than probably anything else about it. I think it captures the art style of the anime really well without just completely taking it from the manga or the anime. Um, the game also, f it kind of looks like it's cell shaded like a cell shaded 3D anime, which I completely, I'm completely i completely on board for. The environments in the game are sort of dull at points, but I don't really mind as the game is pretty fast paced and you don't really notice them anyways. There, however, is only a few different environments, so after a while you see a lot of the same thing. The main ones being a town inside the wall, a set of massive woods, and an open grass field. Even though I love the way it looks, I almost find myself looking for more with the environments and details. Conclusion. In my conclusion of Attack on Titan, I would say it's a fun, pretty short game with some extra modes and elements that keep the game fun for a while, but lacks in a story-based multiplayer. Some bad hit registration and lacking detail in the environments. For people that love the manga and the anime, this game you'll get the most out of this game, and anyone that likes a fast-paced action game would love it. I would I would set this game right outside of my top 10 games of 2016, and I'm going to give it a score of 8 out of 10. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you thought of Attack on Titans in the comments. Hit that subscribe and like button, and I will see you for the next Rise review.